Fortnite Season 4 Chapter 5 is being leaked way earlier than expected, including the first Battle Pass skin, Susan Storm, aka the Invisible Woman. You guys have probably seen this leaked roadmap a million times by now, but the area for Season 4 actually uses this Fantastic Four comic book cover. Obviously, the main villain here is Doctor Doom, but in this issue of the comic, Susan Storm is the one who defeats him in the end. I'm sure they're only using this comic as a rough outline though, so don't worry, the story isn't spoiled for you. I mean, there's no Fortnite characters involved at all, so obviously it's going to be different. Data miners think they have already found her mythic medallion in the files too, because there is a new gameplay feature codenamed Illusory Walls, and Fortnite typically uses the same first letters in code words to represent the actual name. So in this case, the I in Illusory would stand for Invisible, and the W in Walls would stand for Woman. In the Fantastic Four movies, she can obviously go invisible, and we've seen that ability in Fortnite already, so that wouldn't be a big surprise, but she also has the ability to create a force field around things to protect them, which kind of sounds closer to the Illusory Wall's codename. Finally, she can conjure a gust of energy sending people back, which she actually uses against Doctor Doom in the movie too. I know everyone will want this skin if it resembles Jessica Alba at all, so remember, I'm starting to give 5 subscribers every single day again who drop a like, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with their epic ID. Huge thank you to everyone who is still here after my break, and a special thank you to everyone who takes two seconds to type Doom in the Fortnite item shop right now. It means the world to me. Now, next up, I have brand new footage of a Season 4 Chapter 5 weapon I don't think anyone else has got yet. It's a dual SMG weapon, as you can see, and leakers found traces of this weapon in the files for months now, but it's in such an early stage that it doesn't even have an icon or sound effects yet. I don't really see how this weapon would relate to the Fantastic Four or Doctor Doom, so this will probably be just one of the normal new weapons we can find on the ground in every rarity. Now that I think about it, Deadpool had mythic dual pistols back in Chapter 2, so I guess it's possible they'll give him dual SMGs this time. And another possibility is that they belong to Ladypool, since Marvel revealed that she will be appearing in the new movie coming out, and I saw in the comics that sometimes she does use an SMG. She is most commonly seen with dual katanas though, so that might end up being her mythic if she gets one. And then also, one of her other powers in the comics is rapid health regeneration, so if she's a mythic boss, I could see her having a medallion that passively regenerates her health like we've already had in the past. But moving on, a Marvel character you probably didn't expect to return this season is Galactus. He actually makes a brief appearance in that Fantastic Four comic I was talking about earlier, and I didn't really think anything of it until I saw this in-game dialogue. At the end of last season, Anwar appeared as an NPC on the map, and if you talked to him, he would say, Eons ago and very far away, a hungry beast consumed star after star to warm its belly. Each light fizzled all too soon, and the beast grew restless for a light that could warm it forever. They say the beast still roams the dark, hunting for some eternal warmth it cannot snuff out. This obviously is describing Galactus perfectly, and I wouldn't be surprised if Fortnite decided to bring him back to the story since the buildup to his arrival in the live event was extremely popular. I mean, imagine if we were finally able to unlock him as a skin as well. A Chapter 2 OG season is planned to be after Season 4 Chapter 5 according to that leaked roadmap too, so it would actually make a lot of sense for him to be involved somehow. Something just as exciting but not quite as much evidence for is the appearance of the Avengers Tower in Season 4. I'm still pretty shocked that it didn't come to the map in Chapter 2, but this year Fortnite has actually released a survey to the players and specifically mentioned the Avengers Tower to see how many people are interested to see it in game. Now obviously in these surveys they always list out a bunch of video games and characters, but this is the first time I've seen them mention a location from a movie or game. I don't think there's a better point of interest they could possibly bring in a Marvel themed season, so it better be coming in season 4, otherwise we might have to wait another 4 years. There were a ton of other Marvel characters listed in the survey as well, so I'll show them all quickly on screen and just mention some of the major ones, such as Vision, who we've been expecting for a while, Kang, who I'd still love to see in Fortnite, and Otto Octavius, who would have the potential to have the coolest mythic weapon ever. It feels like Fortnite has already brought 
brought everyone to the game, so it's kind of crazy to see there's still a lot of cool characters left for them to introduce. And actually, as I was making this video, we got further confirmation that there will be a new Doctor Doom skin coming to Season 4 because they just added a new green cape for the Lego style of Doom that will be coming out. I'm not sure how many of you guys were playing back in Season 2 Chapter 4 when the original Doctor Doom skin came out, but it is a pretty cool skin and it even had its own built-in emote when you got a Victory Royale. He was also a boss on the map that allowed you to get two of his mythic weapons. The first one was Doctor Doom's mythical bomb that launches a green explosive ball of energy, and the second was Doctor Doom's arcane gauntlets that allowed you to infinitely shoot small blasts of green energy, along with increased speed and double jump flight. These mythics were pretty cool and fun to use, so I imagine they'll at least bring one of them back, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get something brand new. In the Fantastic Four movies, he also had the ability to shoot a beam of energy out of his hands, he used his own rocket launcher at one point, and he can even throw gusts of energy to throw rocks and other projectiles at people, kind of like the force throw Star Wars mythic ability. Clearly, there are a ton of awesome options for mythics, and I can't wait to see what Fortnite ends up going with. One mythic I may as well mention since it's already confirmed is the Wolverine Claws mythic. Apparently it is getting a slight rework so it won't function exactly the same, but I'm sure it'll be pretty close to the one in Chapter 2 Season 4. You could get this mythic by eliminating the Wolverine boss that roamed around Wailing Woods, so I wonder if they'll actually give Wolverine his own dedicated point of interest this time. I mean, he's earned his way back to the Fortnite Island, so I think he deserves one. Another cool easter egg is in the bunker that Wolverine just broke out of, because if if you look at the broken tubes, you'll see one of them has a banana inside of it. And this may be hinting towards a Wolverine version of Peely, or at least some sort of new version of Peely. In the Chapter 2 Season 4 trailer, we saw that Peely had banana claws, but they were never actually brought into the game. They're also working on a new version of the Striker Burst Rifle that originally belonged to Sloan, so I'm sure now it'll be compatible with the weapon mod bench that will allow us to customize it a bit. There is also a new Super Launch pad in the files, which I think will probably end up being a launch pad that functions like the bouncer launch pad combo we could use in the past that would allow us to go way higher and way further. Back to the battle pass skins though, it is very likely we'll see at least one other member of the Fantastic Four included. Right now Magneto is using those rift beacons on the map to summon some heroes to help, and the other members of the Fantastic Four include Johnny Storm aka the Human Torch, Reed Richards aka Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic and Ben Grimm, aka The Thing. I don't believe we have any concrete evidence from the game files or anything like we do with Invisible Woman, but with the last Fortnite update of the season coming out this week, I'm sure I'll have an update for you guys on that soon. It's pretty safe to say that all these characters will end up coming to Fortnite during the season, even if it's in the item shop later instead of the battle pass. Now I hate to get too far ahead of ourselves, but it turns out that the chapter 6 release date just got confirmed to be December 1st, and as you can see from the roadmap, we have season 4 chapter 5 next, then we have the OG chapter 2 season, and then finally after that will be chapter 6. It's crazy because we already know so much about chapter 6, including a new prone mechanic which basically just means you can lay on the floor and then possibly be able to crawl, and also a new swinging mechanic, which is weird to me because obviously we've already had the Spider-Man mythic and the grapple glove item, so I'm not sure if this means we'll be able to have this ability all the time or only at certain locations, but it's definitely going to make the game faster paced. Finally, Hypex says there will possibly be new game modes, creative pet support, which I'm honestly not even sure what that means, and that the season may have a floating islands theme. This sort of reminds me of the Chapter 3 Fracture event, so it might be cool if the island would just split into a bunch of pieces and we had to travel from island to island. And I guess with that theory, it makes sense you'd want some sort of swinging mechanic since you'd have to get from island to island easily. Some bad news regarding Chapter 6 is that apparently it will be the last chapter after a fortnight before Epic Games starts making the new seasons in UEFN. Now, unless Chapter 6 ends up being like three years long, I don't see how they're gonna make this happen because right now, UEFN is extremely limited in features. If you don't know what UEFN is, it stands for Unreal Editor for Fortnite, and it is basically a much simpler version of Unreal Engine, which is the program Epic Games uses to make Fortnite right now. To put things into perspective, you can't even make a custom weapon in UEFN right now, and the whole system already has a ton of issues with stuff breaking 
breaking every time they update it. Let me get back to season four, chapter five now though, because there is a big mystery going on with the Pandora gems on the map that are teasing what's coming next if we can determine what the constellations in the middle represent. There are four gems in this relic at Hope's house, but in the files, there are actually six different constellations. People think this first one could either be the eyes of Dr. Doom since they seem to kind of fit or possibly Cyclops' visor from the X-Men since Wolverine and Magneto are both connected to the X-Men. Next, we have this house looking constellation that most people think represents Hope's hat. And well, since she's a main character in the story, it kind of makes sense to me. And next we have this constellation that looks like a sword, which could have just been teasing the Pirates of the Caribbean collab we got. And now the fourth constellation on the relic looks extremely similar to the Ego or Ghost logo, which is the faction that Midas was the leader of all the way back in chapter two. Finally, the last two constellations, which we're not sure where they're gonna show up yet, are a spiral, which we don't have any good guesses for what this could be. And then there's this weird shape that the Raging Reaper thinks could be connected to this survey skin because of the metal piece above his nose. If you guys have any theories about these constellations, then be sure to let me know in the comments because I'm super curious. But that does pretty much do it for the season four, chapter five information, guys. If you made it this far, I think I've earned your like at this point, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Peace.